Alrighty guys, today I've got my all stock axe and I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to tune it better and get it to shoot like pretty damn smooth. I put all the stock parts back on it, got the stock barrel, everything stock. Um, you cannot get the color like this with the black and silver. Um, I got mine made like that so so other than that, I mean that doesn't um, affect the performance in any way though. So. I'm going to tell you how to really tune this to get a shoot great and which step you should take for each thing. Number one, and remember guys, this is all personal preference. If you guys don't want to do anything to it and your liver acts the way it is, that's great. I loved it too, but this way it, just, it shoots a little, a little smoother, okay? First thing is I got rid of the barrel. Not bad barrel, it's not. Uh, if you don't want to get rid of this barrel, if you like the way it looks with your gun, I recommend going and getting the Tech iFit uh, kit. It's almost like a little back and it adds two inches on so therefore you get a 14 inch barrel and it comes with little sizings for the inside so you can um, pick the right one for each paint but I've got the carbon fiber boomstick the die carbon fiber boomstick um, so that's probably the number one thing I do is get a great barrel you know this one I splurged on um, I really like it though alright next um, internals and there's really not much to do I've got the waveboard in this and if you guys don't know you don't have to go into the grip frame to change the settings you just hold down the trigger now and you can turn it on and it flashes through everything almost like a like a virtue board so very similar okay so I wouldn't change anything with the board I, I mean go and get a red line if you like red lines are great um, okay but let me talk about internals the gun aside. Here are the internals for the axe stock. It comes with, I mean the bolt's not bad guys, it's a it's actually a good bolt. It's got a nice pillow tip. Um and actually it's not a bad bolt. Uh, a little bit on the heavier side, but that's fine. It's not awful. I mean you can you can only tell the slightest bit. First thing I'd do is I'd go and get um the teched uh, MRT bolt with the spring kit. This was 45, this was 15, so $60 investment, and it's gonna shoot smooth, really smooth. Um, so you open it up, and it does come with a little O ring size just to put on the bolt guide, but I already put that on, and just for the sake of time, I'm just telling you, it's these little O rings right here. Okay, so you slide on that one, and I recommend using the medium spring because it comes with three springs. This one's the medium one. Um, you slide it on there, it'll pop down, and it looks just like your old one except for it's gold and it's got the silver spring instead. Um, alrighty, throw this back in your gun. And what I recommend for it to shoot better is a lot of you like to put the pressure at 160 and the dwell at 4, and I don't like that at all. Um, I run my pressure at about 115, 120 around there. So it's really, really, really low, but I'm running the dwell at about 10 milliseconds. So it's shooting really smooth. Um, I mean, it's still efficient. I, I get good efficiency and you know, I get about, I don't know, probably seven or eight pods off of full fill. But um, yeah, guys, that's probably the best way to tune it and I'll show you where my pressure is exactly sitting and you can judge for yourself where that is. Um, and by the way guys, on the new board it's I believe 15 clicks or 13, something like that. 15 maybe. Um, oh yeah. So right at about 120. Alrighty guys, appreciate, appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any more questions, please feel free to ask. Appreciate it.